What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. I'm going to show you two basic parts that I worked out, um, you know, more for a beginner, but to get you, you know, doing some, some fancier kind of strumming and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to take a D major chord. And by the way, all these chord shapes and diagrams are in my free ebook that um, I send to you when you sign my email list. So you can look in the, the box over there and uh, sign up, and then I'll send you a free ebook with all these chord diagrams and beginner scales and chords. It's really cool. So we're going to take this D major chord, and you know, there are some kind of specific picking patterns. I'm going to just kind of, you know, give you a, you know, a fairly easy version. So we're going to go, um, you know, right off the bat, you could take a D chord and put your pinky on the third fret of the high E here, held down. And then we're going to go like this. You just strum from the fourth string down to the first. So after our pinky comes off, then we're going to just strum back down from the from the high E. Watch. So I took my pinky off and I hit that high E and then I go back down. So look at my right hand there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our middle finger and we're going to move it to the third fret of the A string right here. So we got that. Everything else is still stayed. Then my pinky is going to come down onto the third fret of the high E. I got those two there and that there. Index finger is going to go to the second fret of the D. And this is called a C add nine chord. So we add that. And you can go down, down, down. You can strum it or you can pick some of the notes. The best ones to pick would be the A string, the G, and the B. But you could also... So we'd have this. So what I recommend to a beginner out there is sometimes you want to focus and really like look at your left hand and make sure you're playing the shapes right. But then other times, some, and this is something I was even using last night when I was practicing some more advanced kind of stuff is I was, was really staring at my picking hand to make sure that you know I was hitting everything right. So here's what we have so far. So the next thing we do is I just take my middle finger and my index finger and I scoot them up. And we're playing, you know, a G chord. That's all it is. One of, oh, one of a few possible ways to play a G chord. Like that. So we have, check it out. Down, down, down. You could take up the same amount of time with picks if you want. fun. Uh, I'm going to show you the next little part right there, okay? So check this out. So we've got, uh, I shut my eyes and I slip away. So you got to go a C at nine. It's like one, two, three, four. Then my middle finger, and you know, they're picking it very intricately. You could pick notes out to pick. Strum it too. I mean, if we're just a you know starting off here, I don't want you to bog you down with specific picking. So we've got. Besides, I didn't learn it. <laughs> so uh, we've got uh, you know. I shut my eyes and I slip away. So it's just one, two, three, four. Middle comes off. Index goes to the second fret of the A. One, two, three, four. And then the wah, 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 wah. 
um, there's cords over that and I'm gonna you know try and make it as easy as possible we're doing so this little the little guitar part is gonna go a minor and we're just going down 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 up and you can just go G and then D for two of those rhythms so down 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 up down 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 up down 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 up down 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 up into the chorus So let's go from the last verse. I shut my eyes and I slip away. So hopefully that helped. I never claimed to be a singer, people. A lot of people, you know, are saying that it helps them a lot. So I'm only singing uh, not to further my, you know, music, musical. Okay, so the chorus is going to be a G chord to a C chord to an E minor chord to a D chord. You can, I mean, just to keep it simple. Okay, so G, G, C, C, E minor, E minor, D, D. And so there's very specific rhythms going on. I'm gonna help you break that down. On the G chord, down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so we have down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up. And that second up is an in-between. It's a muted, basically. Because right before that up, and if you have to hit that up with a G or the C chord, you're going to be all right, but it's kind of a, it's a, it's a rest. And then... Down, 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 up on the C chord. And then another down, up, down, up. That's the rhythm, and we're going to do the exact same rhythm for the second two chords.
Okay, one last little thing. So we're doing the chorus now. So, da, 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 da. so the G and the C are the same on that last part. G, 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 C, C, E flat. As a beginner, E flat is not a chord you come across um, very often when you're starting, but the easiest way for a beginner would be to take your D chord and just scoot it up a half step. But you can only play the notes that your fingers are on. If you play the whole guitar, or even the open D string, does not sound right at all. That would be the quick fix on that. Um, the standard kind of E flat that I would play would be a bar chord uh, with the root on the sixth fret of the A string and then my ring finger forming an A shape. But I think for right now, just the, you know. Okay, so there's a little turnaround where Marion's walking away. Um, or yeah, Mary, Marion, I think. Um, so we're gonna play an E minor, it's E minor seven, which just means an E minor chord with the, uh, some kind of finger on the third fret of the B. So it's one, two, three, four. Then we go to an A chord, but that pinky can still be there. I mean, basically if you go E minor to A, it's gonna work, but there's a, a couple little tricks in there, like, you know. So it's E minor, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, so. And then a little walk down from the G, and we're gonna go G. And then we're just gonna take our index finger and move it to the Second fret of the E. So. Then an E minor chord. Back to the top. So check it out. So right from the last chorus part. think that um, Everlast turned that D chord into a D minor chord, you know, kind of got an influence there, I have a feeling. Um, but everything's influenced by everything else, of course. So I know that was a lot to cover in a little, you know, 10 minute lesson, but hopefully that helped you. And sign up for the free ebook. You got nothing to lose, and I appreciate all the support. So that's it. We'll see you real soon. Marty here with GuitarJams.com. Uh, I'm going to show you this nice heavy rock song. A lot of requests for Linkin Park, so I thought I'd give you a genuine rock 
lesson. Um, I'm actually using um, the brand new Line 6 M9 uh, stomp box uh, to get my distortion sound, which is pretty thick and fat. Um, so anyway, let me show you that first riff. I'm going to give you two choices on that. Um, I'm going clean right now. Also, we're in um, drop D flat tuning. So what that means is the whole guitar goes down a half step and then once, so that'd be called E flat tuning. And then once you're in E flat tuning, you drop your low E to match up the D and now you're in drop D flat tuning. So D flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. And they use this tuning almost solely for their songs. So we're gonna hit an open six string. Like that. And then what they're, you know, I read, I think it's a, a harmonic, so you could go. And so what you're gonna do is right over the fifth metal bracket, you lightly touch it right over the metal, so you can feel the string vibrate under your finger. When it's distorted, you can hear. six string. So there's two ways to do it. One would be the harmonic and then the next note open again to the seventh fret of the A. The easier way would be open 12, open 14. Um, sound with the harmonic. Next thing is going to be eight, seven. pretty much identical. Then there's a variation once the drums kick in and, uh, you know, just everyone, you know, goes to 11 on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the 6th and 5th string as a power chord. Like that. We're going to do index finger on the seventh fret of the A string and then ring finger on the ninth fret of the G. And we're going to hit that, that's an octave. We're going to mute that D string in the middle, it's muted, so it sounds like this. again, but we're going to hit the A and the E string, or the 5th and the 6th string. So we have... Part, down to where your index is on the third. Three and ring finger on the fifth of the G. Yeah. And that's the verse. 
Crips. So we have the opening. So we have the opening. So we have the opening lick. Or and then we have the the verse. Um, it just goes to index finger, covers the fifth fret. Just right on that fifth fret. And then we get into the chorus. And the chorus is really fun, it's really easy, but it sounds you know, real rock. It's got a real nice rock riff sound to it while still being easy to play. So everything we do on this next part is going to be the sixth and fifth string played together, power chord form. So we have the open, then we have 12, 10, and I use my ring and index. Just like that. We're going to go 7, 8. So we have open 12, 10, 7, 8, and then 5, 7. Then 3, and then it starts over. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It's a fun little jam. Uh, guitarjams.com is the website with tons of lessons on there that are not on YouTube. Love for you to go check that out. You can try it for free for three days. Um, also, you get a free beginner ebook uh, whenever you uh, sign my mailing list. Just keep that in mind as well. It's very helpful for a beginner. And that's it. We'll see you real later. <laughs>